All right, y'all. So let's break it down like this. Tariq is nowhere near ghost level. And I think that the people who think that Tariq even is so very far right now. I mean, yeah. Compared to real life. But compared to all the obstacles that he's up against. Compared to who his father, the ghost man, was. Tariq got a lot to learn. And also, I'm saying this because people are in denial. But Tariq will suffer more than one great losses. Before the credits roll in episode 10, and we see Ghost for probably five damn seconds before the credits end. Tariq is bound to lose a lot. He will. He will. You got to understand who Tariq is even dealing with, right? Tariq is dealing with Noma. And see, this is mostly an era of the writers, right? They kind of wrote themselves into a wall because here's the thing when you're looking at Noma, right? You know it, Noma. Noma would have threatened Ghost and said, yo, I'm going to do something to your family. Go on already. She wouldn't have made it to a second season. She wouldn't have made it. She wouldn't have made it to a second season making the same threats. She would be gone. Ghost and Tommy would have figured that out already. That's the first thing, right? Compared to Ghost and who Ghost was, Noma is complete fodder. And what the writers did that makes no sense is this. She's so dangerous. She got all these hitters that's connected in the group chat and they could chase Tariq. <laughs> they could chase Tariq to, uh, to, to Stansfield, right? They could do all of this, but at the same time, Tariq's still alive. Raiden's still alive. These is college age kids. Noma is somebody who was in the game for probably 10, 20 years. What are we talking about? And then she got all these hitters, but her number two goes from Obi to Kane. Kane is tough. Yeah, Kane is a gangster, right? Kane rules the streets of Queens, not New York. Kane never made it big time. Monet and Lorenzo never made it nowhere near where Ghost and Tommy was. Noma got all these hitters. She got connections to, to Italy. But her number two is Kane. She's relying her life on Kane. Kane is her road dog Pam, her ace boom coon. Kane is supposed to be the person to protect her from everybody. This makes no sense. It fought her. Okay. Okay. Ghost may have allowed Diana to live. Monet and everyone else would be dead. Lorenzo would have been dead already. Monet would have been dead. Drew would have been dead. Kane would have been dead. Right? Tommy, first of all, first of all, Tommy would have ran the fade when Kane and killed him with his bare hands. Let's be real. Let's be real. Tommy loves a good fade. He loves a good fight to the death. We know this already. Right? Did we get lonely, Tariq is nowhere near ghost level. What you got? And he hasn't suffered enough losses to be on ghost level. And this is exactly why, right? Him thinking he knows it all, him thinking he really understands who ghost is, is gonna cost him everything. Everything. I'm telling y'all right now, man. Everybody's gonna die by the rolling credits, man. Right? He might kill Brayden. Even though I'm holding out, I'm not purely convinced that he would. I think he's going to see uh, the advantages that have come with Brayden being his best friend and Brayden being white. Right? Plus, Brayden already proved himself that he's willing to do anything for Tariq. Even though Brayden messes up. But what are we talking about? Tasha? Tasha's gone. She's going to die. She's going to die. She's gonna die. I'm saying no more Effie 
will do it or cause it. It's going to happen. It won't be nobody else. Okay? They're going to die. Okay? Um, uh, Grandma Style and Yaz, they wherever they at. With Sack, wherever they at. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of... Tariq got a lot of smoke. They not leaving with Sack. Tasha got kicked out. Okay? But they're going to go. Now... Did Tasha die on the ghost watch? The writers are lining this up because if ghost is going to come back, Tariq has to suffer losses where ghost is going to be able to say, see what happens because you didn't do what I told you to do, little nigga. Because you thought you were smarter than me. You got your mother killed, dummy. Right? Now we got to hide your grandmother and your sister for all eternity, you dumbass. Right? In order for Ghost to berate Tariq the way he needs to, while also saving him and protecting him, Tariq has to lose everything. There's not going to be a... And y'all talking about a spinoff. How is a spinoff going to be lit if the series ends with no cliffhanger and Tariq just dominates Noma and he becomes the guy. How is that good and we looking forward to a spinoff? The best way to lead off into a spinoff is a cliffhanger where Tariq overestimates himself, which he's always done. He overestimates himself, right? He loses Tasha, probably loses Anya in the mix, right? Maybe had to kill Brayden. He loses it all. And then in comes Ghost, who been watching him from afar. And he lost everything. And on top of that, he finds out that he didn't even successfully kill his father. This is what will have us beasted, desperate to watch the new spinoff of Power, which would be out of the book. Five or six. Six if they're going to give us, you know, the taste went off. Right? Five if they're not going to do that. Right? This is what we need. People got to understand Tariq overestimated himself. He's always overestimated himself. Okay? He always had delusions of grandeur. Right? He overestimated himself. He said, I could do it. I could kill Ray Ray. And make up for getting my twin killed. What the nigga did. Left his blood on the crime scene. Then expected his daddy to save him. Tariq has to lose everything. Or there's no point in Ghost coming back. Because we know Ghost is not going to kill Tariq. So if Ghost not going to go to war with Tariq. Then he has to have to save Tariq. So we need Ghost to be able to say. You never listen to me. Look what happened. You ain't got the trust fund. All right? You you at the bottom of the drug game. You lost it all. Your mother's dead. Okay? We got... We got Yaz and Grandma Stell hiding in Cuba somewhere with Tupac. You ruined everything, Tariq. But if y'all think I'm bugging, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Peace. Oh, can't teach that shit, nigga. Come on. That's how I get that. That's touch my ink. That's on the dome, nigga.